Hi everyone, today we're going to study different levels of data. The different levels of data is sometimes called levels of measurements or scales of measurements. Here are the four levels of data. Letter A, nominal level. B. Ordinal level. C. Interval level. And D. Ratio level. We say that there is a hierarchy in the complexity and precision of the level of measurement. From low, that is the nominal level, to high. And that is the ratio level. Going from lowest to highest, the four levels of measurement are cumulative, which means each take on the properties of lower levels and add new properties. Now let us study each level of data starting with letter A, nominal level. In here, the data can only be categorized. There is no numerical value involved. No particular order and no ranks are prescribed for the data. So we say that you can categorize your data by labeling them in mutually exclusive groups. But there is no order between the categories. Here are the examples. City of birth, gender, ethnicity, car brands, marital status. The second level is ordinal. In here, the data can be categorized and ranked. There is no numerical value involved. Data now can be ranked or judged. We say that you can categorize and rank your data in an order but you cannot say anything about the intervals between the rankings. Here are examples. 1. Grades. When we use the letters A, B, C, D, F. Another example, rating scales. When we write poor, good, very good, excellent. Another example, judging. Data are first place, second place, third place. Another example, language ability. Data are beginner, intermediate, fluent. The third level is interval level. Now, the data can be categorized ranked, and evenly spaced. In here, numerical values are now provided. But there is no meaningful zero. We will explain this later. We say that you can categorize, ranked, and infer equal intervals between neighboring data points, but there is no true zero point. The difference between any two adjacent temperatures is the same, that is one degree. But zero degree is defined differently depending on the scale. It doesn't mean an absolute absence of temperature. 
For example, 0 degree Fahrenheit does not mean no heat at all. The same is true for test scores and personality inventories. A zero on a test is arbitrary and does not mean that the test taker has an absolute lack of the trait being measured. The last level is ratio and this is the highest. The data can be categorized, ranked, evenly spaced and has a natural zero. Again, there will be numerical values involved. Also, now there is a meaningful zero. You can categorize, rank, and infer equal intervals between neighboring data points, and there is a true zero point. A true zero means there is an absence of the variable of interest. In ratio scales, zero does mean an absolute lack of the variable. For example, in the Kelvin temperature scale, there are no negative degrees of temperature. So zero means an absolute lack of thermal energy. Other examples are height, weight, age, area, and time. To summarize, today we studied about four levels of data. The first level is nominal level. We say that the data can only be categorized. The second level is ordinal level. The data can be categorized and ranked. The third level is interval level. In here, the data can be categorized, ranked, and evenly spaced. The last level is ratio level. The data can be categorized, ranked, evenly spaced, and has a natural zero. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.